This is part 14 of building our invoice management system. And in this video, I'm going to show you how we can consolidate our navbar links in one page and make them appear on all HTML documents on our website or on our application. What I mean by that is we have three pages. If I switch over to Sublime, we have three pages. We have the home page, we have the entry page, and also the list invoice page. All right, currently, if I want to navigate between these pages, I use the URL right here. Like if I want to go to add entry, I'll type add entry or just entry. Then let me just confirm from the URL. I'm going to go to URL, so py. Okay, so we have the home page right here, add invoice and list invoice. So if I want to add invoice, I'll have to type it right here. Add invoice. That takes me to the add invoice page okay now if i want to go to the list of invoices i'm gonna say list invoice great and the home page is where we started now i want to create links so that i can click those links and that will take me to the respective pages good now if i go to the home page i can create it right here let's say i'm gonna create three links I'm going to create it in a nav element. Okay, now within the nav element, I'm going to create an li. Okay, so within the li, I'm going to do an href. Okay, href. Good, so this will be the URL. So I'm going to maintain home, right? And this will be the home URL. And this will be home. I'm going to save it, refresh the page. You have home here so if i click it it should take me to the home page all right i have to close that right here okay i'm gonna refresh and make sure that all these blue links are gone good so that is the home page i'm gonna repeat repeat that three times so the first one will be home the second will be add invoice okay and that will be add invoice so this is the URLs that we have right here, the add invoice and list invoice. Okay, I'm going to add the list invoice right here. Good. Now see what will happen if I refresh, I have all the three links. I can go to home page, I can go to add invoice, and if I go back, I can go to list invoice. Good, but now uh, if I want to add the same links right here on list invoice page, I can copy and paste. Okay, so I'm going to show you the traditional way and then Django way of doing it. Now I'll copy it and paste it right here. Paste it right here and also on the list invoice page. Save it. Save the entry page as well. If I refresh this, oops, sorry, I'm gonna refresh this. I can go to add invoice. You have all the links there. So if I go to list invoice, I have them there as well. And I can go to home page. Now, here is the problem. For whatever reason, let's say I want to change this to home page. Okay, so if I go to the home page or any of these pages, let's say I'm gonna change this to home page, or let's use the most obvious reason why you'll change your links let's say now in the url i change the address of this to invoice entry okay if i refresh here i have to go to the home page change it there let's say now if i go to add invoice i'll have an error because add invoice is no more a valid html or a valid address okay now i'll have to go to that page like if i come back here this is the home page i'll have to change it on the home page change it on all other pages like if i go to home page i can change this to invoice entry invoice sorry invoice entry save it now this will work for home page if i go to invoice entry it works for home page oh sorry i have a typo there save and refresh 
then I come here this works fine but now I'm on the invoice entry page this is still with the old link if I click here that gives me an error that means I have to go to all these three pages to change it right there okay or if the URL did not change but I want to change the links I'm gonna re re get this back to how it was if I want to change just the name or the I have to do the same for all other pages multiple times so imagine you have um, uh, you have hundreds of pages on your application it's like you have to do that hundreds of time okay so Django takes care of this easily now what we're gonna do is we make sure we have the links right here okay like what we have here so I'm gonna cut this out okay I'm gonna cut out this from all pages okay I'm gonna cut it out from here as well now that page I have I'm gonna save it as its own page I'm gonna create a new page paste the code right here save it as number HTML and I save it now since we have this page we're gonna call this page on all other pages as simple as this okay I'm gonna go to the home page okay like now if I refresh the nav bar will be gone okay now I'm gonna get back there and then use the include keyword or the include tag that will be include navbar dot HTML save it now just by doing that this is gonna call the navbar.html page and that is sitting right here okay that is sitting right here now I'm gonna refresh this no template names provided okay navbar.html let's see if we spell the navbar correctly navbar.html include navbar.html oh I should have uh, the codes right here save it and then refresh okay so we have all the links coming up on the home page so it will work for home now we need to add the same or do the same for the rest of the pages now I'm gonna get back to sublime so since I have this code copied okay the um, I'm gonna copy this and paste it on entry page paste it right here save it so just by doing that if I go to add invoice you have the links right there so the, we're left with list invoice okay so I have to paste it above here I'm gonna go to list invoice paste it right here save it refresh we have the links right there I'm gonna give it a BR so that we have space right there that's not necessary uh, save it refresh all right so now if I go to home page, I have the links right there. Add invoice, the links are there, and list invoice. So this is how to do, or this is how to include the navbar on all of the pages. Now, if I go back to the navbar and change something right there, let's say uh, in navbar.html, I change this to home page, save it. If I refresh, I'll have home page here. I'm gonna have home page right here, and I'm gonna have the home page right here as well so as simple as that you can change the link once and it will be changed throughout your application so this is the power of navbar or include navbar so i hope you enjoyed this video if you do don't forget to click on the thumbs up if you have any question leave them in the comments below otherwise see you in the next video